Hello guys, welcome back. It's the Electronic Channel with you today, and I am kind of back with a new video. Um, I'm going to shoot this real quick, and I have a couple things to take apart. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of them, whole bunch of electronics I need to take apart. Uh, yeah, there are some power supplies I have there and some equipment, but yeah, uh, the main focus is this uh, today. I don't know how many we can go through today, but uh, it, it it's something I'm picking up um, when I have time just for components and I'm going to take some things apart um, and I'm going to use like a new um, st style of video, I guess. I'm just going to hand uh, hold the camera. So um what we're going to do is we will start with this digital um stereo satellite receiver that does not work and we're going to take some components off uh, that so we have some fuses right here uh, we got a, a transformer and uh, yeah there's like a whole bunch of components uh, that we can <clears throat> take off this thing and uh, there's some really high-end uh, Mitsubishi like oper operational amplifiers and amplifiers and just a whole bunch of cool components. So I will uh, get it started and uh, yeah, it should be a really cool video. All right, so uh, we are farther into the disassembly of this unit and I found something really interesting. So. I took the bottom cover off, so this is the bottom side of that uh, transformer uh, you saw before, and uh, yeah, it it looks like it's like a sandwich construction. Uh, really interesting. Uh, this is the bottom of the power supply, so they're using this uh, divider here uh, for uh, heat dissipation. Um, yeah, this is really different construction than. Uh, what I'm used to. This is like really old school. So as you can see, you have all of these RF pots, like small transformers and stuff. Really, really useful. And the interesting part is these uh, connectors uh, right here. So uh, what they did is, as you can see, it has this type of like connector and just wire. And uh, what you do is you put it inside you put it inside the connector and you just close it. So uh, we're definitely going to salvage uh, these. I think they will be really useful uh, for uh, projects. Of course, all of these micros, uh, yeah, no luck. Um, if they are programmable, it will be a pain in the ass to do. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of uh, like, cool caps and stuff like we're definitely going to salvage the caps potentiometers connectors and uh, some amplifiers so what I usually do is I take pictures and uh, actually let me let me turn off this light off I have a feeling that uh, it's a bit uh, too much there we go maybe that is better so Pretty much, I usually just take pictures of the part numbers and uh, I go ahead and uh, just search online and, and see what it is. And uh, yeah, this power supply, uh, it looks like it's still working uh, with this transformer. So what we can do is we can actually salvage the transformer. It's nice and small in terms of height. But it's really wide so we can fit this into like a really tiny enclosure and uh, make it uh, like a good power supply or we can make a, a soldering station or something like that uh, really a really cool transformer i have a whole bunch of transformers that uh, i wanted to show you guys like i have a whole bunch of them and uh uh, I can't. I can't really find any use for it because uh, there's just uh, too much. Like there's just there are just too big for anything useful. And uh, yeah, these are some like a, a PSU. No, 
UPS, there we go, uh, transformers, so they can be used for uh, inverters, and there are some microwave oven transformers that we can use, but they are just too big for any kind of project, and I have a feeling that uh, we can really use uh, that transformer for some sort of really cool and small project. Um, we will do some testing uh, later on, not in this video, but in the future to see how much power we can take from that transformer and we'll see if we can make a really small uh, spot welder. Uh, that will be fantastic. Alright, so we are back uh, to the unit. So what I will do is I will start taking these uh, circuit boards apart. I mean off the frame and uh, we will see uh, what kind of surprises uh, do we have inside. Okay, so I have taken some of the parts out. So we got some really interesting uh, things. First of all, uh, this uh, terminal bar, it actually comes out through this hole. And uh, if I make a cutout in one of my enclosures, we can make a nice a little terminal, external terminal bar for our contacts. That is really, really handy. I actually like that. And uh, of course we got this huge transformer. I mean, yeah, look at that size. Uh, it actually says on the outside of the box, um, 120 watts. Um, I'm not sure what taps we have. We have to actually check out, but it does look like we have three separate coils by uh, three separate colors of wire. We got orange, blue, and red. Uh, we have to check that out. Uh, so far, I got three tiny, teeny, little um, full bridge rectifiers. Uh, this one is actually special. It has a heat sink at the back. And there's a number so we can obviously f figure out how many amps it can take. And uh, I got these two a little resettable fuses. So there are two amps each and that's actually really cool. They're external as well. So you mount it like that on the back of your panel and if it uh, trips it will pop out and you can push the button and reset it. That is really really cool. So uh, we're going to take this board out and uh, we'll see what components we can take out. And uh, yeah, let's continue. Okay, so I have taken the boards out. Uh, yeah, they're full of components. I have to say, uh, a lot of cool things, switches, little connectors, pots, and everything. So it will be really interesting to uh, even test these components because most of them are custom made anyway. And it might be fairly difficult to find anything online. And yeah, it's it's just incredible. The construction is amazing. And I think that back then, uh, the way everything was made was much nicer and more reliable, even though it's huge like this. Like all of these chips would probably could be replaced with a single micro and you can easily just uh, program it to perform the same function and uh, yeah I mean I mean there's not really much to it the chassis is pretty much empty I left the power supply in there it's pretty much useless uh, I can I can't really think of a way it would be useful um, it's old. So, I think I'm just going to uh, throw it out. And um, I picked up a, a resistor here. It was inside. So, it is a 10 watt, 10 ohm uh, resistor. Pretty cool. Also, um, this will be a separate video, but 
I found, well, I didn't find the tuner inside, it was inside, and it's canned. I think it will make it a really cool uh, separate video just to take a look and see what's actually inside. And uh, yeah, it has like all of the like people checked it and whatever. So it, it seems to be a pretty high end uh, tuner. So that's going to be a really interesting uh, to void that warranty and, and see what's actually inside. And, uh, yeah, so the reason I made this video is, you know, just, just to show you how fun it could be to tear something all the part and then pick some components from it. Uh, that's how I get most of my components, screws and, uh, everything else. It's just really cool and it might be time consuming, but at the end it's, it's uh, the things you get from it, and yeah, it, it's just really cool. So, um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, you all know what to do. Like it. If you didn't like it, you can dislike it, but I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video.